Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best fonts for your text editor. So let's get started. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You got to slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me. Nobody did it like this, so they wonder, they asking me. If I can slow it down, because it's coming too fast for me. I came up from the bottom, now look at me now, they mad at me. I slow it down because it's coming too fast for me. All right, guys. So I'm super excited that you guys are here with me. Okay, so we're going to be talking about different fonts when it comes to text editors and which ones are the best one that we should use with our text editors, right? So we're going to be looking at this website is by CSSTricks.com. Uh, they basically have a whole bunch of different fonts. They have Anonymous Pro, Cataograph CF, Cascadia Co, Comic New, Consola, Courier Prime, Cassine, Deja Vu, uh, Droid Sans Mono, Fantesc, Sans Mono, Ferroco, Ferrofly, Gentronic, Hack, Haskick, IBM Plex, Inconsolata, Input, uh, Yosevka, uh, JetBrains Mono, Julia Mono, Menlo, Mona Lisa, Monoid, uh, Operator Mono, PT Mono, Recurve, Cursive, Roboto, Mono, San Francisco, Mono, Soroscope Pro, Pseudo, Ubuntu, Mono, Victor, Mono. <laughs> like, <laughs> they got a lot, bro. Okay, sorry I get hyped. This is what I do. <laughs> Some of you guys ain't ready for this sauce, okay? But it is what it is. I'm going to give you guys my top five or top six, top seven you know, fonts that I really enjoy, okay? We're gonna give you a top of something, okay? Just stick around, you're gonna be good, all right? So let's talk about it. The ones that I like, I like Cartograph CF, okay? There's a great font. Now, uh, it does have ligatures, it does have italics, and this is very difficult to find. A, uh, you know, a font that has both of them, it's hard to find, bro. It's rare that you're gonna find it, all right? Now, some of them is going to have ligatures, some of them has going to have italics. Now, ligatures is this right here, where basically you have some type of icons, you know, that represent like, let's say, uh, not equal or maybe represents to less than or, or less than or equal to, right? Something like that, right? Or maybe you might have an arrow function. So originally this has how it would look on a regular text but with this ligatures it just makes it into its own little icon so it's actually pretty cool so i like this one now the next one that i have here is uh cascadia code so cascadia code also has ligatures um i like this one as far as like the ligatures way better than than everything else because the less than and equal to signs are actually uh, something that will look like a less than an equal to sign. Uh, if you look at cartograph and something like ferro code, they have a angle that is going up. I don't know why they do that. Uh, like the little icons. Um, same thing for ferro code. They do the same thing here. I don't like this. You know, uh, the arrow function for ferro code is actually pretty nice because it's nice and skinny. It looks like this uh, as far as like the ligatures. Okay. Uh, the text is actually pretty cool, pretty nice, you know, but again, uh, cartograph is a little bit on the higher end. Of course, they're going to charge you $40. Okay. Cascadia code is free. Okay. Ferro code is also free. Then from there, we have something like Inconsolata. Okay. So in this one, this one's actually pretty nice. This is probably my favorite one out of all of them because of the way how the font looks is like nice and skinny, but not too skinny where you can't see it. Um, and basically it just makes it nice and clean. So this one's actually pretty legit and the spacing in between the, the letters pretty nice. You don't have to go in there and, and fix anything else like line height or anything. It's like, it's perfect like that. Okay. Uh, I, I think what they call it, I think kerning, I forgot how to, <laughs> what's the proper words in, you know, in typography. Um, but, uh, and here you have the next one, which is jet brains, jet brains, mono. Some people like this one. This one has ligatures and it has italics. So some people, they like that. Uh, as you can see, it also has that design of like less than and equal to less than it was it less than and equal to and the greater than and equal to is like on an angle. I don't like that. I don't know. You know, uh, the arrow function looks pretty nice. So it's not that bad and it does have italics. So. 
you know, it's up to you if you want something like this, JetBrains, which is free, or Cartograph, which is $40, okay? Now, another one that is for the big boys. This one's for the big boys, okay? This is for the big boys, okay? <laughs> Operator Mono, okay? Only the big boys have this one. Operator Mono is $200 to actually own and to actually use, okay? I've seen a lot of people that pirate it, you know, a lot of people that share it on you know, on places like GitHub, uh, I'm not going to say the name, but if somebody wanted to go and find it, it should be at GitHub. And then you just search GitHub on search on Google and, and putting operator mono in. And somehow somebody, so I don't know who, but somebody put it up there. Okay. So <laughs> again, I do own this because uh, I paid for it. Uh, I use it for a lot of different things. And the last thing I want to do is, you know, not support creators and, and, you know, and developers who have created the style and it's actually pretty nice. Okay. So definitely go support, but shit, if you don't got no money, I don't know what to do. You, I, you do what you got to do. You get what I'm saying? To survive out here in this world. It's a cold world kids. All right. So anyways, man, but this is the, the, the fonts that I like, man. We got Ferro code, consolas, cascade code, uh, Inconsolata, JetBrains Mono, Operator Mono, okay, and of course, car oh, was a Cartograph, Cartograph CF. Why they couldn't just name it like a little Billy CF? Like, keep it simple, stupid. Like, you want to go? Can I put a Cartograph? Like, nah, just keep it simple, stupid. You know, put a little Billy CF, and that's it, okay. And you're good to go. All right. <laughs> Lil Juan, Juan CF. You know what I mean? Okay. But again, there's are some pretty nice fonts. And yeah, go check it out. I'm going to put the link in the description, guys. All right. This was just a quick video to have fun and, and to talk about the fonts that I use. Um, again, if you want to learn how to code, guys, go to codingphase.com. Go check out what we do here, man. You know, we have a whole bunch of courses. Uh, we try to teach you guys in a fun way, in a way where you're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to really create real projects, okay? Things that you're going to be able to use for your job interview and be able to speak about it and, you know, discuss it and go into details and say, hey, this is why we use this. This is where the problems that we faced in this course, et cetera, or this is the, the problems that we face in this project, et cetera. Like, you're going to be very comfortable, okay? So check it out, literally with $20 per month, you get access to all of this courses. Everything that you're seeing here is all courses, individual courses that you get. Okay. So not only are you getting just like, Hey, access to everything, but everything is in order from start to finish on like what courses you need to take. So your journey could be very simple. Okay. It doesn't matter if you want to become a front end developer, back end developer, a uh, full stack developer, everything is in there for you in order. Same thing if you want to learn Shopify theme development and Shopify app development because you want to make some extra bread, extra money, put some money in your pocket, put some money in your kid's pocket, put that trust fund for your kid. Hey, learn Shopify theme development, Shopify app development, okay? That's where the money is at right now. Look it up. Do your Googles, okay? <laughs> And of course, if you're a junior developer and you're like, man, I would just want to get a job. HTML email developer is a great career, man. It's a great way to get into the industry and you could always switch up to becoming a front end or back end developer whenever you want after that. Okay. Get your experience. Go check it out. Codingphase.com. It's all right there. If you click on the description, you're going to get a savings like crazy. You might get a 35, you might get a 50%, you might get a, a 65, 75% off of the original price. You never know. Just click the description and check it out. All right. So I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Peace.